off ball, pick and roll. Those are all things we saw last year, and we've got the utmost faith that he'll be able to continue to build on that this year. Great. Thanks, everybody. That was Memphis Grizzlies head coach Taylor Jenkins following tonight's 114-103 win over the Detroit Pistons. That energy in the third quarter, so nice. He got asked about it twice, but it really was the difference maker in this Grizzlies game as they came out the half with a different level of energy, especially on the defensive end. So let's take a listen to some of those second half highlights. Grizzlies have led 61-53 at the break. John Morant with a quick eight to start the second half. He can't be stopped sometimes. It just, it is how it is. He puts the Grizzlies up 73-58. to Morant working on Hayes again into the paint, to the window, lays it up and in with a left hand. Timeout, Dwayne Casey. John Morant is taking it right at Killian Hayes. Morant with 15. He is on fire here in the early part of the third quarter. Morant ended with 15 in the game, but also had 12 assists. He's now had 10 plus assists in six of his last nine games. This one to Santi Aldama, who connects from three to put the Grizzlies up 91 74. Back to Morant, left elbow, working on Joseph. Right corner feed Aldama for Morant. Three on the way is good. Nine assists. For John Moran, ring it up, put three on the board for Santi Aldama, and the Grizzlies lead by 17. Yeah, just another fantastic pass by John. Grizzlies led by 20 after the third quarter, a quarter in which they scored 37 points, took a 98-78 lead into the fourth. Tyus Jones to Zaire Williams for the alley finish in transition, a nice highlight to put the Grizzlies up 103-84. to Ivy tries to feed to the wing, stolen by Jones in transition, lob for Zaire Williams who jams with two hands. So after the missed free throws, Jaden Ivey trying to feed across the lane, had it deflected and stolen by Tyus Jones. He leads the break, the lob to Zaire Williams, and it's all Grizz here tonight. Six Grizzlies players in double-figure scoring tonight, including Brandon Clark with another double-figure, double-digit figure night off the bench. 17 points for BC. This floater put the Grizzlies up 105-86 to following a mean Jaron Jackson Jr. block. Jackson blocks his fourth shot of the night. Rebounded by the Grizz. Jones gets by Ivy. Jones into the lane. Drops for Clark. Clark to the window. Floats it up and over Isaiah Stewart. He was going to try to dunk it. Stewart met him midair, and Clark floats it up and in. And the Grizzlies go on to win 114-103, scored just 16 points in that fourth quarter, but still managed to get out with an 11-point win over the Pistons tonight. Coming into tonight's matchup, the Grizzlies were a half game out of first place in the Western Conference. The team in first, the New Orleans Pelicans, in action against the Phoenix Suns. The team's tied with the Grizzlies at that half game. Disadvantage out of first in the West. Right now, the Pelicans lead the Suns 121-112. Now 121-114 in the final minute of that game. It's been close one back and forth. Zion Williamson has a monster night with 33.7 rebounds and four assists. We'll keep you updated on that score. We'll also give you an entire rundown of a very busy night in the NBA. A wild near collapse for Philadelphia amongst other scores from tonight we will also still have grizzlies post game live john roser and bennett doyle are here they will take your calls uh not the next block but the block following so if you want to call in and talk to them tonight be sure to get your phones ready i'll give you the number in the next block but you're listening to the memphis grizzlies radio network we'll be back with more after this say there was a place 